But guess what? One of these guys today has a chance at redemption. You say, you know what? I lost the last finals I was in, but I bounced back. You don't want to name names? Or... Hey, he know who he is. Wow, he's had one name. He is... Who are you, who are you talking about? Hey, hey, man, he he know who he is. He's already thinking tell about him. his offense. He's thinking, already thinking about that <laughs> commander's playbook. You got to tell him, man. <laughs> I ain't got to say nothing. What's understood don't got to be said, player. You know who he is. TJ dumps it off to Todd Gurley. Now, remember, last game, TJ opened up with that halfback base touchdown. An easy score. He's going to have to work a little harder here because you know Mr. Football had his eyes on that game. Is thinking about how to stop TJ's high-powered offense. Boots right side. What a route combo. Is that two crossing routes? Yeah, DJ is just so high powered and he just plays at such a rapid pace. Like it's hard to adjust. I know user definitely would not be able to adjust to the way what do you that. Mean? I got the them finals. You mean menu, I one great menu streamer. I'll come out here and run dollar and make all the adjustments. Like look at that. He hikes it in two seconds, eyeballs the quick streak. Just so fast. He's going to go hurry up here. He's probably going to hike it again. He's going to audible quickly and just at a rapid pace. I can't wait for Up and Adam to stream his uh, his menu game and then a user right after him. Back to back menu streams. I love it. Perry rolls left, throw, rolls right, throws left. He finds prime time. Man, Deion Sanders was so good for TJ in that semifinal game. And how quick TJ has got down here inside the red zone in a blink of an eye up under a minute. That quick he's already down here at the five. But this is where things get tight inside that red zone. We're going to see where 88 is going to be able to come out and hold the door. And just like that, as it has been the case for the last four months, we get to our final and the studio smells like food. Mm -hmm. You're just going to leave soon. <laughs> I'm not going to hear but from listen, you. Let's, let's, smell good too. let's be honest. Me and Clef did not eat lunch. Now, Ty, I'm not saying I was counting your plate, but I'm saying I saw you, you know. And I know we're going to have jokes and the camera's going to be on me. Gene, go ahead, Brendan. What you got over there? What you got? No, 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 no. Mm -hmm. What you got? Does he got vegetables in it? He won't yeah. eat it. Cuban kitchen. First Polo la, la Milianese. Polo? He's reading. We need, please. Where is, where's Duolingo? We need the one great user Spanish lesson. Hola, senors. <laughs> the rice bean combo. I got you, man. User, the, the most pickiest eater I've oh, yeah. ever seen in my life. Oh, yeah. So it's a, it's a great chance he's not going to eat that anyway. Nah. Oh, this looks got, pretty good. It's a, a chicken sandwich. I'll okay. give it a look. Oh, that's a chicken mm -hmm. sandwich. This certified. It better not be one little Stretch run. Yeah, 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 I got you, man. We'll see you have Where to go for Derrick Henry? If somebody up here doesn't have food. Ty, how you doing, man? Professional? Oh, you're just full. I get it. No, it's cool. <laughs> he's yeah. that, you know, he's cool. definitely full. You know, responsible people eat lunch. I have not seen anybody. I've heard of pocket checking. I've never seen somebody plate check somebody. But True. You can go to the bunch to the and left come, side. Come to the barbecue cookouts and any events. In my community, they I definitely take it. I don't think I've been invited. And, <laughs> Second and what you got up in the to go plates and everything. Well, RPO action, nowhere to go really for Gurley. Fights the tackles instead of a third and goal from four. And that's good defense from 88. You saw he had the smoke screen out there pretty covered on that RPO. No choice but to hand it off, and, and 88 was ready for it. Yeah, and that's why people run 6 1, because this is the best red zone defense by far. You still can stop the pass with all these lurk artists, but you got all these guys at the line of scrimmage to be able to stop the run. And Clef, I'm wondering if he's going to go to that play that he ran. The first time in the red zone, that first game that we saw versus Kiv, that you said it's very difficult to stop because you come out there and can quick snap it with the running back going on the wheel route. Yeah, you want to come out here and quick snap something so they can't set up all these adjustments because it takes a lot of adjustments to put the safeties and hooks, and he's going to have a million yellows out here. Yeah, it looks like he's ready for that RPO if he goes to it. Goes inside zone. Hand off oh, inside God. zone. Walk in touchdown. What a start for TJ. He's first on the board in this championship matchup. Listen, sometimes you just can't overthink it. You get down right. inside and you zone, just man. Hand the ball off inside zone, and that's what works for TJ. Yeah, and we see how quick TJ scored. Now, 88 is kind of different than TJ. He's way more balanced than TJ is. He's way more willing to yeah, run the ball. I think if you 88, you think about slow this game down a little bit. You know, slow it down. Don't get in. You don't never want to really get in a shootout with with one of these offensive players, you know, because your margin for error is just very slim. 7 nothing, Clef, how does, uh, when, you're, when you're playing, especially a game, money on the line, belts on the line, how much pressure does it take off you when you're able to, when you get the ball first, you're able to go down and score? Yeah, uh, enormous, because oh. first of all, when you get the ball first in a belt game, you hate it. You absolutely like you, you want to so be defense first. You locked yeah. in looking at that screen, seeing if you want offense or defense first. Like you, you don't want you don't want ball first in these games. But to go down there and get seven and be able to play defense, it just relaxes you so much. You feel warmed up, loose, and you got all the swagger and confidence on your side. 
Now we can see Mr. Football on offense and tie that last game. A lot of freestyle and a unique player in Strap God he had to go up against. But he really found some rhythm in that second half. Yeah, he did, and it really was with the RPOs, right? He, he was much more balanced in that second half, you know, rocking that Indianapolis Colts playbook, which we've seen be so meta and so popular this year. So you'll see a lot of that bunch offset. He'll go to the bunch strong, but he is willing to mix in that run game to stay balanced. Reminder, guys, make sure you're using that hashtag Madden Playoffs. Let's know who you think is going to win this game. Your thoughts. Can't wait to hear from John Beast. <laughs> there he is. Why am I getting the shade? This is why you in the booth. See you later this month. Hashtag Madden Playoffs. Listen, B, she know you my brother. I'm just, I, but we just got to keep it 100. I didn't say that. I'm just saying some people would say the this, you know, he always says some people, but he never tells us who these That's people are. That's a Big play oh, over the top, and he missed him. Why did he go for it? Right there, he went for the swerve for whatever reason. You know, he clicked Could've on Could have just kept running. He about the just, KOs? The KO was not even going to get there. I, I, didn't, I didn't think it was going to get there. Yeah, game. it was nowhere even close. You didn't have to swerve there. All he had to do was click on and, and, and hit square to get a better rack intermission. It's a bad mistake by 88 right there. Sometimes these guys get a little cute. You remember back in the day, they try to swerve and show they had that stick? Perry stepping up. And he'll throw this one away. He had that post route last second. It was too late. Good defense, TJ. It was good defense. All right, guys, please make sure that you, uh, if you're watching on Twitch, go to the command center, fill out that survey for us. Help us continue to improve the broadcast here mm. as we bring you more competitive Madden action. Third and ten. When in doubt, find a drag route. Yeah, running, going back to the same play, saw that he missed that read up underneath to the running back this time. Hits him right on time, able to pick up the first down. Back to pass is Perry. Pressure up the middle. Oh, Just gets rid of it. That's oh. dangerous though. And he finds Dion. It looked like a pick. Instead, it's for six. Prime time to the house. 88's on the board. Gets it over Gronkowski's head with an absolute laser. That's a, that's a tall guy to get it over. Yeah, six foot six. We thought that was going to be a pick. And I think that was three straight plays that he went to double post, Clef. And, you know, double post been the best play of the last couple of years. But Mr. Football is so confident in that bunch of offset double post. Yeah, and if you TJ, you got to blitz him. You have to blitz him. Especially when somebody's sending out five out that many plays in a row. You got to you gotta force them to block somebody or... Him in double post and a, a high-level player like him, he's not going to keep missing that post wide open for a touchdown. Seven apiece. Both players score on their opening drive. Take it to the 14-yard line. Take a look at this one more time. One great daughter. We know you were a daughter, and you saw this right away, right? Like you were going to throw that. Right? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. I got you. I think that's kind of dangerous right there, throwing it mm. at Rob Gronkowski, especially with that lurk artist. You know, that play right there, he was able to, fortunately, to fit that in there, but... You know, I wouldn't keep trying to be waiting on that. Yeah, I wouldn't keep trying it. And next time you're going to see Gronk with an animation to pick that one off. I think I'm seven underneath. Second and three. The running back, right hip, bunch to the short side. Screaming. Pressure. Oh. Boy. 88's been bringing the heat, and he's been getting some free rushers on William the Fridge Perry. Yeah, and out of that doll, you see you got that, you know, you got the looper at that left linebacker position, but also you can send those slot DBs if you want to, a little, to send a little extra pressure. That's exactly what he did there. Quick wheel. Quick check down. 36 seconds left in the first quarter. First and 10. Perry, back to pass. Stepping right. It's good defense. He's trying to find square down the field. Nope, he just throws this one away. And, and Nick, we've seen that route bounce be so popular today, but uh, he did a great job using it at the last second. Their circle came back across, and he was all over it. And Eddie is doing a great job of mixing in the blitz and playing coverage. It's a perfect blend, like right here, he sends them, just keeping them off balance. Oh. Third and six, but before we get this play, we will go to the second quarter of action. Seven, seven, our score. It's only appropriate, TD, that a championship game would be this close. Yeah, no doubt about it. You see the intensity. Both guys, edge of their seat, locked in right now. Uh, if you're expecting about. these guys to be talking a lot, I have a feeling not until this game's a little more yeah. wrapped up. Yeah. Until we see a big play, then we start to get the emotion going. 
Perry back to pass. Four-man rush picked up nicely from the right side. He'll look Beamer. down the middle of the field. Oh, oh man. God. It was behind, behind him. Oh, my God. He was, Winfield comes up and make the play. I don't know why that pass was behind him because the, the route was open. Fourth yeah. and six here. This, this, this could be a big momentum shifter for 88 if he can get this stop. 88 was begging for that ball to be intercepted instead of swatted down. And we talked about how TJ will throw, throw your book, and that was one right there. Perry in the shotgun. Pressure picked up. Looks cool. Oh, oh, wow. Picked oh, up. Oh, and who oh, else? God. Big number 90, Julius Peppers. That's why you have him out there. Six foot seven. Foot eight foot hut. You that's can't teach that. That's why you get him on the field. We take a look at the replay. Look at that. He tries to fit it over, but too much height gets the pick, and Mr. Football's pumped. And that's why having Lurk Artist is, in, 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 is so important because you see right there, he you don't even got to click on. The dude just animates and picks the ball off on, a, on his own. Now he'll go back to the ground game with Todd Gurley. Gets six over the right side. And he'll hurry back to the line. 19, Tiger, 19, Dragon 60. Nice gap oh. right there, nice seam. 88 slowing it down a little bit, goes to the ground game. And this is a spot with your 88, you feel good too, because now you got that stop, right? You get the ball to start in the second half, that's always the best feeling. When you can get one stop in that first half, and you know you get the ball to start in the second half. Ooh, man, scary. And if, if you 88 right here, you don't want to get too conservative. You know, with getting this stop, you don't want to just think about getting three. Because that doesn't that doesn't do you a lot. Now you could throw a knockout punch right here. You're going to get seven with ball at half. You can put yourself in a better position than playing this way too conservative. Especially if you get a lot of this clock. But how about the pressure? Jalen Ramsey off the edge, third and long. Don't have to worry about that patch if at the end of the day your guy comes in free. Yeah, and we see TJ already switched his defense. He was in the base line free safety blitz. Now he's in spinner with this regular man alignment, and it's just it's way harder to read. And the blitz comes in faster. Okay, back to pass finds the flat route. That's Gonzalez trying to fight for extra yards. It's gonna be a now, fourth and seven. Does that make you think about going for it there, Cliff? Because you get 12 yards, now he's gonna take his points. Yeah, you gotta take three and make him pay for making a mistake. You know, you gotta take these points. You get ball to half, and, points, and you wanna yeah. make that possess that stop matter. You know, but you but who stop, feels better now? Matter. I mean, you gotta if you're TJ, you gotta feel great about only giving up the field goal after turning the ball over. Yeah, your defense, your defense stood up tall, did a great job of keeping this within striking distance. Cause now you can go. You go get seven and take it's a per, you can take all the time with you. It's only 245 left. This is really easy to clock out. Is, uh, you think uh, you think John Beast has a Mr. Football jersey on? You think he bought his own Snuggie right his now? His own Snuggie on. Oh, he's treating this like a sporting event, man. Yeah. He's sweating. He's got, he's got a foam finger. Yeah, he's, <laughs> he's got his popcorn. 10-7, you're scoring. Here comes TJ on offense. Perry in the shotgun, bunch to the right side. Solo receiver to the left. Motion Gonzalez off the bunch over to the left side. Perry back to pass. Pressure picked up for a moment. Looks left side. What a route combo there, and he finds the halfback. Todd Gurley for a first down. Yeah, super impressed. Goes to Y Curl. Has that built-in halfback wheel route. He had the drag underneath as well, but he waited. Hit that uh, wheel route when it got behind the defense on the left sideline. And off inside. And now, if you're TJ here, Nick, you've got to think about slowing this down, making this the last possession before the half, because you know 88 gets the ball to start the second half, so you don't want to give him any time here before, before halftime. Especially now, hit the two-minute warning. I don't want to talk about it, man. This has been the last, this has been the last four months, okay? <laughs> this is how it works. User, how's that sandwich working for you? Good? I'm so glad. <laughs> For those of you at home who didn't hear him, he said, hmm? <laughs> Second and five, picks up a first down. <laughs> nice check down there from TJ. Hits that quick flat, and you see immediately dives down with his receiver because he wants to use much more clock. So, is he going to go RPO here? He might. No, nope, he's going to go zone. straight inside zone. And that's the thing, too. Everyone's expecting the RPO. Yeah. You just go the inside zone. No one's ready for it. What makes the handoff 
from the inside zone, different from the handoff from the RPO. Is it quicker yeah. out of that inside zone? It's quicker. You get that kind of, first of all, you get a different camera view, <laughs> which is a, sure. some people aren't used to the RPO camera view. And, yeah, just that quick, straight, you get the straight blocking ahead. Plus, if they're sitting user on the outside, they might already be nope. stepping towards the RPO. Exactly. Sometimes simplicity is key. Is TJ able to work this down to a minute left? Looks like he's uncomfortable. He might call time out here. He's just going to hike it at one. He's going to call time out. Looked like he got a little miscombobulated there. I don't know exactly what happened, but that's okay in the spot. Remember, first half, you can use these timeouts if you have to. Can't, you can't take him to the second half. No. I'd expect another run play here, though. Second and inches. Still got time, right? 56 seconds. 10-7 the score. Championship game. Final belt of the year. Doesn't mean we're going anywhere. Madden coming up about two weeks' time. Mm. We got that ultimate tiebreaker coming up next Tuesday, 7 o'clock Eastern over on the Mudhead Twitch. We will, we will see Strap God. Mm. Strap God will be in that tiebreaker. Two spots will be on the line. What the? Good Early gets stuffed. TJ, a little head scratch, li both literally and figuratively. <laughs> and, and you see, 88 calls that time out here. So he's hoping for a little bit of a miracle, hoping for a get, get a stop on this third and one. I mean, heck, you're able to shoot a gap, make it a fourth yep. and four. Might as well, you know, call that time out. And you saw TJ kind of reset some of his audibles. He set <sighs> those trips tight end audibles there. I think he thought he's going to get to the red zone and use that. It's, no, he's going to go to the trips here anyways. Perry back to pass. Heat. Brock thrown over the middle. Primetime makes a catch through contact. And TJ does have that gift for aptability. Picks up that first. Clock will tick a little bit. Still time, though. And seven. Perry back to pass, steps up in the pocket. Oh, I know, right? Oh, oh he, had, he had the running back it's wide crazy. open. The running back was wide open in the end zone, and TJ just missed it. You can tell he's sick about it. Yeah, there he I'm, I'm just catching a clip of the replay. I mean, there wasn't a soul around him. Oh, that's a heartbreaker. We can't let that get to you here. 21 seconds left, second and 10. One timeout remaining for each player. Perry motions, Todd Gurley to the right side of the formation. Gonzalez, Rice, the right side, this time he'll hit the halfback. I think he probably wanted to hit the halfback last play, but. Yep, I, I thought he might have had the corner out there if he would have waited a couple seconds. I like that play call, goes to, goes to the trail play out a bunch strong, had the flood with the corner and the streak, checks it down to the running back. Prime time, solo receiver right side. Goals. He'll take underneath, it's Gurley. Little will stop and go action. He'll take a timeout. 11 seconds left. He's got first right, and tough. goal. This has to be pass plays yeah, here. That's, that's the one tough part about this. No timeouts. You're not going to be able to come with a play action. You're not even going to be able to run the ball. You have to throw this in the end zone. You probably got what? Two, two, two three shots. shots? Maybe three if you're quick. But yeah, that's okay play call right there. You want to juke back inside. You still have that timeout to burn. Nothing there. You got to throw that one away. So yeah, you get one quick one quick throw to the end zone here. Yeah, this one has to be first or second read. And if you're 88 and you hold him to three here, this is a big win because it looked like he had that streak in the end zone, which he didn't get. Might have had the corner out there. I mean, this is phenomenal for, for 88 if he can hold him to three. Big play in the game right now. How sweaty do you think these palms are right now? Very. Mom's spaghetti. Knees weak. I think I... No, I got it. I yeah. think I went back. No, you're close enough. Open. It's fine. Nobody heard yeah, it. It's cool. There's only a lot of people watching on Twitch. Perry back to pass, two, four seconds, three seconds. He'll throw this one away, hit, settle for his three, get to halftime tie. This is, I can't, I, I can't underestimate how much of a big, massive win this is for 88 to hold him to three. After what we just saw transpire where he missed the hat back, he had the corner out. I mean, 88's going to feel great going to halftime. Kick is up. It's good. Zeros are on the clock, and we are all tied up once again. Another game where we have turned a 20-minute ball game into a 10-minute ball game. Ten apiece. A tie. This feels like a game. Both players made a couple mistakes. Both players are fortunate to only give up three on some drives. This feels like about as even of a final as we could see. Yeah, you know, some might say it's low scoring, but this is just high level. Intensity, there's drama, and that's exactly what you want in a championship game. So we couldn't ask for anything more here from this first half between Mr. Football and TJ. Yeah, no doubt about it. This first drive in the second half is always one of, you know, the most important thing right here. Who can get that momentum? You know, 
If I had to choose, I have no idea. Like, I feel like user right now. I can't make a decision on a pick because this game's just been so even. But he did make a pick, and we need to hold him too. <laughs> and he has a tie on his record today. Never forget. I do not have a how tie. How did you get a tie? Do do? Like, it, it's a shame how y'all don't want to give me TJ, Kiv. No, TJ, Kiv. No, no, I did not you do it. I said, said Kiv. I mean TJ. TJ. That's his name. Run both. the tape back. He picked both. No, I didn't. He was on both sides of the fence. Did he try to do the Jerome Bettis? Heads, no tails. Yeah, yeah. He, he did both. He did both. And he complimented both of them. He really didn't want to pick somebody. <laughs> no, nah, that's not true. Run the tape back. Uh, don't worry, we have it. Don't worry, we have the day. Perry empties out the backfield, splits Gurley out to the right side. Look at this, five wide out there. 88 setting up the double Mabel beater to the left side. Let's look underneath, finds Gurley, takes him first down. I like that. Motioned out uh, Gurley, put him on a drag underneath route there. Picks up the first. Takes that little RPO, actually throws it to the screen, and that was risky. But able to make the catch, second and eight. Yeah, TJ was all over that. Looked like he had a, a guy manned up out there. Also had uh, a curl flat. Scary throw from 88. Another throw underneath. And so you can kind of see the approach here, Clef. 88 being very methodical working the underneath routes. He is, and you can see TJ approach as well, blitzing him, trying to blitz him every play now, trying to make him uncomfortable. This is a great pocket right here by, by uh, 88 oh getting outside the pocket. Is that Mox food? Oh, my God. Uh, how, whatever do you mean? <laughs> I'm, I'm sitting over here watching this play. I see this man trying to close this food box from Papa. Can't get. Okay. Looking like he's trying to solve a Rubik's Cube. Now that was the half talking to him. I don't know what you're talking about. He had to have one camera on that, right? 10 10 your score. First and 10 off the scramble from Perry. Oh, nice move. Uh oh, oh, no, oh nice no, move. There he goes. And he's out of the 25, 20, 15, 10, oh, 5, God. ding dong. We got a house call. That's, that's just, it's, a, it's a great job at 88 just staying with running the ball, man. He hasn't, he's just, and he's been patient with it. It's hard to be patient running the ball. Like, you got to have a certain type of mentality to get the run blown up, you know, to get your RPO blown up. And he's still calling a run, and it pays off for him. Getting jiggy with it. Some nasty juke moves. And we've seen 88 bring out a lot of the, that stick work. Uh, with these run calls, and like you said, Clef, he's staying patient, he's staying balanced. And I always like to see guys, you know, keep keep with that run game going a little bit. You know, keep your opponent guessing. That's exactly what 88 does. Uh-oh. Good return up the right sideline. Sanders. Big hit. Which one, let's take a look at this one more time. Right here, Chris Johnson. First time we've really seen Chris yeah. Johnson getting jiggy on the field. One of the fastest running backs in the game right now. A couple juke moves, and he's out of here. Goes a little bit of that speed boost at the end there. He's able to get to the house. Scream more. And this is what 88 has done all game, TD. The pressure has been relentless. Yeah, and we saw it against Strapgott as well, right? They haven't been able to pick up that looping blitzer. We saw TJ be able to pick it up pretty well, but Strapgott had no chance to pick up that looper. And right there, 88 sends it, and it gets home. Second and ten, Perry back to pass. Three-man rush. Oh, oh, it's oh, underneath. Oh. And Carmichael got oh, the animation, God. but Gonzalez got the catch. Little dance move inside, outside, and a first down. Boy, oh, boy. Good to know that TJ's a gambler. you got to be careful with that Carmichael lurk artist waiting on it. Very scary from TJ. And thing right there, there was nobody around him. He was under no pressure again, you know, throwing that ball when he really didn't have to. Yeah, so, Clef, what's, what's, what's going job. on with right here? They're, pretty... they're not setting up. The, they're just not setting up the block. I just don't think he, like you see him double teaming. The easiest thing I do is just slide right every time. But 88 is doing a great job of sending four pretty much every play. You know, so even when he's not coming in free, they're still rushing their throw. Yeah, answer that early touchdown here in the second half. A great read there, left side. Tony Gonzalez. Well, he, that man just seems to get open. Yeah, he does. He's really been a beast all day long. And you see there goes to those double corner routes. He's able to hit one to the sideline. Did a good job picking up that loop there. He blocked the running back this time to go with the, uh, the double team. Bunch of the short side. Quick throw underneath. Tony G once again. Brought down by Champ Bailey. Give him five on the play. And, you, and you, ideally, you want to score before this fourth quarter start. You know, you kind of want to get this ball in the end zone as quick as possible. And, and don't clock yourself out trying to get seven right here. Second down, bunch once again to the short side. Those double corners again. And he looks to the corner route, but he can't get the feet in bounds, and TJ can't oh, believe it. 
We talk, we talk so much about hash marks, Clef, but you know, so much you kind of get into the habit of running everything to the wide side. We're seeing TJ use the short side of the field effectively. Yeah, short side, the corner routes are just way better, especially in the red zone. Things just develop quicker on Pretty that much. short side. Oh. Running back having the backfield to go. And those running back streaks, especially when you get closer to the end zone and the red zone, are really, really good. Gonna go inside zone here, right? Yep. Yep, back to inside zone. Great blocking up the middle. And Gurley's gonna fight for nine and a half. Second and short from the three yard line. He hurries back to the line under a minute to go in the third quarter. You like the no huddle right here versus the dollar. Trying to make it difficult on 88. Listen, you wanna get a stop right here, burn your timeout. Nice. And a nice read, and he oh. fights through the contact. Bo Jackson looked to pry that ball free, and TJ said, no, 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 you're not going to get away from this six that easily. Scores before the fourth quarter, a huge drive for TJ and a great response. Yeah, and that's big because he'll get this ball back no matter what happens. I mean, it'd have to be a master class of clock management for him not to get this ball back. So it's a, it's a great job by him scoring quick. You know, 88, if, you, if you're 88 right now, you just get back to what you were doing. You know, run the ball every first down. Ensure that you're gonna take some clock with you. How much do you think John B's sweating right now? Oh man. Yeah. Beast, can we get a check in? <laughs> yes, Beast. How can we I get a wellness here? check? <laughs> and look at this row combo. I love this row combo. So you're so worried about D on there, and then you got backside Hayward Bay on the in route. That's a really nice row combo DHB down there. DHB holding on through the contact. Shout out to the former hey, Maryland Turp. Here we go, user. 43 seconds left. We're still tied, 17 apiece. This feels like a heavyweight fight we were watching before our eyes. And you see 88 coming out here, going up on the center. You already know what time it is. Flex close with the stretch and the run. Will TJ be able to stop this run game? There's the stretch. Ooh, great tack, great tackle animation, by the way. Hits him with a, it like, like a, a parent pulling their kid back. No, 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 no. You, you get back here. And the only thing, when, when people use motion on that, right, it's, it's an obvious tell, Clef. Like, you know, you know, you're getting that extra blocker for the stretch when they motion it over. Yeah, and there's nobody blocking for the RPO yep. besides the bubble over so there. You can't so you can, throw the RPO, so it's basically one dimensional, just the stretch. Yeah, you could just sell out to the stretch and really just sell out with your user over there. And we got TJ going to a different defense, wide nine, the double A go. Mm. We haven't seen this all day. Bunch to the wide side, a little defensive look change. Perry back to pass, stepping up, throwing deep down the field. He's got Dion. Dion's in his face. 25-20. Juke move inside. He'll be taken down at the 16-yard line, and that will take us to the end of the third quarter. 17's up, fours up in the chat. Clef, if you're TJ, I know you just gave a big play, but isn't that almost not the worst thing to happen? Because now control kind of goes back to your side because you're going to get this ball back. Plenty of time and opportunity to clock the quarter. Not the worst thing, especially if you hold them to three. And this is the hardest, this is the hardest, hardest position to score. score yeah. yeah, it's hard. It's hardest. It's big making that right. tackle and not giving up the touchdown there. That's a huge tackle. That's a huge tackle by him to, to get him in this situation. And TJ, what a user. Right? That's a nasty work. That was nasty <laughs> user work. Lurking on the <laughs> left slot, DB. <laughs> well, it, on, if that was an offensive route, he basically ran a zig route. I mean... <laughs> with the slot defensive back. And I would expect right here 88 to sell out for seven. Like he's really going to try to get seven right here. You don't really you really don't want to get three right here in this yeah. position. Like especially in, in this game, the it, way this game plays. It would take all the pressure off TJ. Yes. Perry back to pass. Watch for Randy on that Three zig. man rush. He's got Ooh. Randy and he missed him. And all of a sudden third and 10 and the pressure ramps up. You know, and the field shrinks down here inside that 20. See if 88 goes to double post. That's been his money. He, it has been his money, but double post is so tough to run yeah, right here. Zone, yeah. You get too close to the end zone. Third and 10. Parrying the shotgun, bunch to the right side. Back to pass. Stepping up. Stepping up. Sends the pressure. The throws deep. it away. Yeah. Fourth and 10. Wow. And that could be the, the play oh. of the game right there for TJ. That stop right there. How big was that tackle once again, Clef? How big was that tackle keeping him out of the end zone? He holds him to three, and if you're TJ, you got to feel on top of the world right now. Yeah, you do, because you've made so many mistakes this game. You've made counter, you, like, you don't, some games you know you don't really deserve to win, and you're still in position to strike, you know, so that gives you a lot of confidence that you haven't played your best, and you're still in a good position to win this game. The, uh, now recently retired, Nick Saban always said that you're going to get your A-plus game 
two games out of the year. And the rest of them, you're just not getting your A-plus games. You've got to win those games when you're not playing your best. And neither of these players have played a perfect game by far. And these belt games come down to who can stick around the longest. And when it's clutch, when the rubber meet the road, who can make the best plays? We don't see a lot of blowouts in these games. You know, the games are usually close, and it's one or two plays that decide it. Very back to pass, first and ten, down by three. He throws it right side, slings it out there to Tony G. It's a nice route combo, had the drag, had the post behind it, also had the running back streak. Checks it down to Tony G. And if you 88, the worst thing you can do is sit back here and just let him take yeah. this clock. You got you to gotta get aggressive at some point to try to get this ball back. Oh, Great, late are... read, but he completes it wow. again. That's, wow. a, that's a late read, a bad read from TJ, and he is extremely lucky. Quick throw to the, to the flat. He'll get nine on oh, the play. Wow. Okay. Deep breath from both players. 42 to go. Clock stops and going out of bounds. Bunch to the short side. Hayward Bay, Rice, and Gonzalez in the bunch. Perry back to pass. Rolling right. Yeah, throw that away. He oh, does it. Sack. He takes the sack. So we go from a third and about two to a third and 11. Perry. Up oh the my. middle. Oh Rasheed Rice with the catch in the middle of a sea of Atlanta Falcons. These reads are getting these are getting these are getting crazy. Crazy. <laughs> These reads are getting uglier and uglier. Like you just feel the turnover is coming. Saw 88 got stuck on Jalen Carter there, so that's I think what TJ was thinking. I can throw it there back there, but man, that's scary. Oh, that's and if you TJ, why are you no huddling? Yeah. Why are yeah. you no huddling? Why are you in a rush? Is that is that a panic move? Just I feel like when guys get under pressure, they just want to hurry up the game and just yeah. get it going. It feels like a moment to take a deep breath. Because a lot of times guys don't want to be on defense for the game. Not in, the, not in like Madden, not in an offense game, you don't want to be on defense for the game. So it's like he trying to score seven too quick. When in reality, just make sure he don't get this ball back. Parrying the shotgun, trips to the left side. Pressure right up the middle again. He has yeah. Darius Hayward Bay, but a good knockout on the outside. They didn't even call that a knockout. That was just straight up drop on the high ball. And he's yet to run the ball, hand the ball off one time this draft. Yeah, hasn't used any clock. Which and, he's used so effectively this game. And his whole team is yellow. His whole team is tired. Everyone's tired. Everyone's tired. Quarterback's tired. O-line's tired. Receivers are tired. I just feel like he needs a, a first down to just sit there for a second and get it to the two-minute warning. Third and ten. He is not in field goal range, ladies and gentlemen. Probably needs, what, another four eight, yards? Four yards? Watch those double corners again to the left side. He picks it up, picks up the loop. He takes the underneath, and it's Gurley. Great oh, juke move outside. Stays in bounds. That play was monstrous, ladies and gentlemen. 88 disgusted by it. How about the juke move back outside? A little stop and go. Angles inside, fakes out the yeah, better the, now first and 10. The jukes all day have been on point. Yeah. I've seen a lot of good jukes. We know how, you know, overpowered the juke can be in Madden 24. Just cut back inside. Gurley will fight through the tackle, pick up six. And an opportunity for not just the players, not just the casters, but everybody. Take a deep breath. Mm -hmm. Two minutes to go. I mean, this drive We've been was spoiled. Ugly. We've been spoiled. This been drive spoiled has been looking game. ugly. It's, 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 I'm talking about it has been looking ugly. And somehow TJ still has the ball. Great, great chance to win it because... Worst case scenario, you get to kick three, go to overtime. Yeah. But still, just there's no pressure on you right now. Take your time. But this is where it is, is the toughest move of the ball. Usually, there is a lot of pressure. This is for a belt <laughs> right here. Not just a belt, a, a buy oh, in the man. open oh, battle. Oh, and he's going to get the intentional grounding. grounding? I mean, nope. you, can't, you, just, you can't keep making these The mistakes. pressure <laughs> ramps up. You can't. And great job by 88. He went to the 6-1 saying, hey, you're not, one thing you're not going to do is just run this ball. You know, I'm going to make you pass. So, And he sent six out of 6-1 and, and played cover zero and it got home. Here we go, third and 14. He's picked up a third and long already on this drive. Can he find another one? Minute 57 to go. Mr. Football, three timeouts remaining. TJ with two. He double teamed that defensive tackle. Will it pick up the looper? And, and I hate him moving butt, both corners because now you know he's only sending four. That's really all you need the way this thing has been screaming. Pressure is picked up. He throws it underneath to Darius Hayward Bay, makes the catch, breaks a tackle. 
And but the go clock you gotta, you gotta stops. Go you going for it? You gotta go for it. He you is going for it. You, you lose. You lose, yeah. You're going to lose. There's too much time on the clock. If there, was, if there was 30 seconds, 25 seconds, you're kicking three there. But because it's a minute 50, you got to go. You got to go. And he's technically go. not still dead if he doesn't get three timeouts. He has the two time. He has got two. He's still got, you know, 30 second play clock. He does have a chance. And I would expect him to go right back to the corners. Go right back to the corners. This could be for the belt. This could be for the bye. John Beast is rooting so hard for Mr. Football's defense right here. Fourth down and six. Perry in the shotgun. Back to pass. Pressure oh, picked up. Oh, oh, picked oh, up. Oh, Jackson the other way. Can Jackson get out of here? Oh, this is nothing here. you can't do. Bo knows where to go. Bo to the grim. And Mr. Football possibly to a belt. He can taste so it. He can you, smell yeah. it. That's so bad. Bro. Hit him with the if you smell. Get out of here. Okay, shit. <laughs> Get out of here. <laughs> Yo, what's wrong with you? <laughs> <laughs> One time for the people? Never. There's a lot of people watching. Never. Wow, I guess user is not the people's champ. He is not the man of the people. <laughs> man, it, how good do you got to feel right now if you're 88? Yeah, how much? Like, how good do you feel right now? The endorphins <laughs> must yeah. be going How crazy. good do you feel if you're John Beast right now? Yeah. Well, let, let's be honest. This drive was looking oh, so man. shaky from TJ yeah. from the start. Yeah. Four, like, you know how you just watching like, oh, this going to be the drive I get a, get a stop. That's just how you felt because every play, it was nasty from the, you know, taking the sack on the second and one to making it third and 11 to get the intentional grounding. Like, the drive was just really, it was an ugly drive. And he's just made too many mistakes. And eventually those mistakes, they, they catch up with you. You can't win belts and make costly mistakes multiple during the game multiple misreads you know the intentional ground and he's just been off and kudos to 88 because like I said a lot of people lose games mm -hmm. you know he's been real conservative and it's worked out in his favor 88 did not beat himself this he didn't game. beat himself he didn't beat himself second and 17 off the intentional grounding Perry stepping right I'll throw this one away bad pocket just running out for no reason I, you know those are things that we haven't seen TJ do it, it, it this is the desperation mode, right? Like, this is the desperation kicking in. He's falling out of everything that he knows is right, but just trying to get a quick score. He does still have two timeouts. If he's able to get a quick score, yeah, we're back to the game. is not over. Third and 17. Finds the running back on the street. Great juke move outside. Pick up the first down and get out of bounds. And you know, you know what would be crazy? What happened to TJ? Go ahead, go ahead. No, 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 no. Don't you put that. Oh, man. What a, what a world this would be. Yeah. Oh, boy. First and 10. 21 to go. Stepping up and sitting down. That's one thing you can't do. How about Gronk with the sack? We're under a minute to go. Yeah, you got to start using these timeouts. You end up taking these timeouts. Yeah, you're at, you're at you. onside kick territory. You got to get yeah, it. Yeah, you got to start using these. You can't take sacks and let 20 seconds run off. It's a quick throw to the flat. Darius Hayward Bay picks up six. And this, this is a great job by 88. A lot of times people in this situation, they play so far back. They play prevent defense. You prevent know? defense prevents wins. Exactly. And you just let him walk down the field. He's still sending that A-gap blitz and still, you know, making him work down the field. How many times have we, have we seen that in, and not just in Madden, in the NFL season? Nope, I drop back time. and all of a sudden they're at the other 20-yard line and you have to stop the red zone offense. Instead, 88 has been consistent with his – quiet down that crowd, Serge. Bunch to the right side, Perry, Todd Gurley, his right hip. Pressure picked up. He's going to look to the oh, corner route. Man. It is Tony G with a catch. He goes out of bounds so, at the 38-yard line. You don't, I don't think you kick it yet because you still have those two timeouts. I, I, I take, a, you know, maybe one or two. You gotta get uh, once you get one under one 30 one, seconds, one, it doesn't matter yeah, how many yeah, timeouts yeah, you have. Yeah, one or two more chances right there, I would say. I, it's one of those that, like, you either kick it now or you realize you're going for the onside kick and you need to get it. Well, you're going to be an onside kick regardless. But, but like, it's a, it's a need to get. There's no more chance. Like, I'd mathematically. I'd probably just kick it now at this point. Yeah. You're going to need it anyway. Give yourself those 30 seconds. Because you, you got two timeouts. You know, you still can get seven. You know, you, but you, I think you got to kick now, too. I think you'd rather have those two timeouts on a, on a guat drive if you get that onside kick than right now. 
36 seconds remain. TJ looking for a comeback. There's no one there. He'll take off with Perry. He'll throw this one. Probably could have scrambled, pick up the yards, and make the field goal a little easier. But instead, he'll make the incomplete pass. And you see TJ in the upper left-hand corner, distraught. I mean, this is there's two sides to every Madden game, and this is we're seeing it in it live in living color. And I'm just saying. Here we go. How crazy would it be? <laughs> Live? <laughs> this is... and, and this the one year you don't see, like, 88 went up 10. And yeah. You really didn't see a lot of uh, celebrating like you would think yeah. because of this situation right here. Here we go. What does he go with? He went high. He did go high. Redemption on his side. That's a good on side. It is. What he gets tip. the hit, but it's recovered. That's it. How, how much? <laughs> I mean, what a game. What a game. And finally, Classic. Mr. Football can celebrate a little bit. A great game from these two competitors. Two guys. The great part about this is we had two players who are going to be at the Madden Bowl. So this is not like their season is over. You're going to keep your eye on TJ. I'm just saying. No the way he plays, it. he's now been here twice. He's been to this belt game twice. Valuable experience from the young gun who everybody has nothing but glowing words to say about. But as the clock runs out, as there are zeros on the clock, I'm just saying, Mr. Football 88's got to change his name to Mr. Football 30K. He takes home the oh, the playoff challenge belt. He takes home $30,000. And now he looks towards the ultimate Madden Bowl. He adds his name to Madden history. <laughs> From Madden 23 wildcard runner-up, losing to Henry, he gets his redemption. He is the playoff challenge champion.